Today on Premiere Prep, we conclude our beginner's guide to using Blender for visual effects, and today's subject is green screening and the color tools. Hello Film Worlders, it's me your host Micah Pendleton and welcome to Premiere Prep. Do remember that we have the Annoying Orange contest going right now, which you can find details to right here. Now, let's get into it. Green screening and the color tools. So here we are, the last part in our beginner's guide to using Blender for visual effects. The response to the series has been absolutely fantastic and I can't thank you guys enough. Also a big thanks to Bart over at Blender Nation for his help in promoting it. I know I did an episode on green screening in Blender a while ago, but I felt I should do it again for a few reasons. One, tools have been added and improved in Blender since that episode, and I found several tricks to help get a better key and make it match your scene. Many of the tricks I found require some use of the color tools, which is why this episode is also on that. Now here is our test shot. Go ahead, make my day. As you can see, there's a bit of hot spotting happening and my hair is uncovered. This is great to show you guys how to work with this kind of stuff. Also, we're going to be compositing it over this background. I've also come across a couple of tricks to help blend them together. Now, let's jump into Blender. Like starting any composite in Blender, we need to do the basic setup like I showed in part one, which you can watch here. And of course, make sure that the render settings are correct. Now import your footage and set the correct number of frames. Press Ctrl plus Shift and left click to connect it to a viewer node. Now we start green screening. Press Shift plus A to bring up the node menu and go down to Matte and add a keying node. There are other green screening nodes this is just the one that usually works best for me. Once you've added it to your strand, select the color of your green screen. The two settings you'll want to play with the most is Clip Black and Clip White. These are mostly the ones used to just hack it off real quick. They're not really for fine tuning. I don't really have any time to go into all these settings. You'll need to experiment with them a little bit and get to know them on your own. To help me out, I like to add an Alpha Over node and change the color to red. This way I can really see how my key looks. Now here is a great trick for you when trying to get a better key. Take the matte output and plug it into the factor value on the alpha over node. Now take your original footage and put it in place of your keyed footage on your alpha over node. This often gives a much better result. Now because this is our original footage, you'll see green colors on the prop gun and the edges of me. To get rid of this, go to the node menu and under matte you'll find color spill. Add that to your original footage, change the algorithm to average, and tweak the ratio to your needs. You will know that the edges look a bit jagged. I don't know why this tends to happen, but to fix it, you'll want to view just the matte. Now add a dilate erode node. Change the mode to threshold, and for me, I need the distance to be 3. Yours might be different. Now add a blur node and set the X and the Y to 3. Now plug it back into the alpha over node. Now bring in your background footage and input it into your alpha over node where it was red. You may need to change some of the keyer settings to make it look a bit better. Now we get into a bit of coloring, starting with blending our green screen element into our background. I learned this super cool trick I'm about to show you from Sean Kennedy. On the strand for your original footage, add an RGB curves node, which you can find under color on the node menu, and add it between the color spill node and the alpha over node. Now isolate the red channel on the backdrop and on the RGB curves node. Now just adjust it till the foreground fits flawlessly over the background. Now repeat for the blue channel and the green. When you add all the colors back in the viewer, the foreground fits right in with the background. Assuming you've done it correctly, it can be quite tricky. Now let's do a little bit of color grading over the whole shot. I now want to show you one of my favorite color nodes, and that is the hue saturation value node. So open up the node menu, go under color, and add the hue saturation value node. For me, I just wanted to take the saturation and the value down a little bit. This little node is quite amazing once you really start using it. 
Now let's add an almost as awesome node, the color balance node. Again, you'll find it under the color subsection. As you can see, it's a three point color wheel. For my shot, I wanted to introduce some reds in the gain, but because I'm wearing a jacket, implying coldish weather, I wanted some blues. So I made the lift and the gamma a little blue, and it's done. Not too bad. Go ahead, make my day. So as you can see, green screening in Blender is not that difficult and can look quite nice. That concludes it for this episode and our beginner's guide to using Blender for visual effects. But do remember, Premiere Prep Season 3 is still going. We've got some really cool stuff coming up. So make sure you tune in for episode 14 next Sunday. All right, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. I'll catch you next time.